Dear viewers, welcome to yet another episode of Expert Speaks. I have got some exciting news for you. Many of you have messaged me. Many of you have requested me. We want to do the wills. How can we do the wills? Show us a simple method wherein which we can create a legally valid will. I have come to you with a solution today. We are rolling out this particular product. And from now onwards, you just don't have to go anywhere else. Just spare 10 minutes of your time and you can create a legally valid will for yourself online from the place wherever you are seated, irrespective of whether you are in India or outside of India. This is NRA Money Clinic for you. And I am Dr. Chandra Khan, but your financial guide for a happy living. NRI Money Clinic. No hype, just the right advice. Dear viewers, expert of the week is Mr. Nikhil Varghese. Mr. Nikhil Varghese is not new to you. You have seen him multiple number of times in the earlier videos. He is a specialist on wills, estate planning, succession planning, a charter accountant by profession, a person who has spent a lots of years of his careers working with the big four, has extensive experience in estate planning related issues. And now he has started his entrepreneurial journey by creating a technology platform to create online wills. Welcome to the show, Mr. Nikhil Varghes. Thank you, Mr. Chandrakant. Uh, it's a pleasure to be on your show. Like always, had been always getting good feedback and it's just an honor to be on your wonderful and uh, very interactive show. Nikhil, in uh, your earlier episodes, you lucidly explained why every NRA must have a will. Why we say NRA, every, every president also must have a will. And in the subsequent videos, you spoke about the executor services. That means if some death happens and a person is outside of India, he's not able to take control of things and how your team in yellow can help them with the executor services. You also promised to my audience that you will roll out a product wherein which they can create their own will from wherever they are. And it is a legally valid will, very cost effective and can be easily done in less than 10 minutes. I will dedicate my uh, this episode for you to roll out your product and show to the audience through a demo how you would like to roll out this product and guide them step by step how they can create this will which is legally valid. First, the basic question to you, what are the things that they have to keep in mind before they start making their own will? Please explain it for the benefit of our audience. No, thank you, Mr. Chandrakant. You know, it's uh, it's a pleasure for me to present uh, what we have built within our uh, company. You know, we've put in our blood and sweat, put in all our experience, my team's experience in terms of dealing with uh, n number of clients in the past. The same practical experience to come through the uh, you know app journey, and that's something which we have looked at, and more than happy to present that to your your uh, audience. Having said that, your first question is around what should one look at while creating a robust or a valid will? You know, there are three things that one basic st uh, aspect that one should consider while creating a valid will. Number one, the person should be a major, which would mean that he should he or she should be above 18 years of age. Second, the person writing the will should be of a uh, sound mind which would mean that they should be contractually or legally uh, eligible to enter into contracts. And third, uh, there should be two uh, minimum witnesses uh, along with you signing the will to make the will legally valid. Having said that, there are a few other things that one should look at. Uh, though, though not mandatory, one should appoint an executor to your will so that your wishes are undertaken uh, or given effect to when you're not around. And the appointment of an executor should be someone who you really trust can be a beneficiary as well, if not an independent party, but should be someone near and near, near and dear to you uh, so that they undertake, uh, uh, you know, giving effect to all your wishes that you've stated in the will, right? That's, that's broadly some, how one should look at uh, creating a valid will in India. The law doesn't provide for any format and therefore you're free to write your wishes in the right fashion. But uh, being in this space, uh, from a practical standpoint, we have put in certain checks and balances. And that's what I could, uh, you know, demonstrate while uh, we'll go through the uh, quick uh, overview of the app itself. 
Nikhil, my audience is excited. I am excited. This is something which is very close to my uh, mind as well. As a practitioner, I have seen in lots of cases, people suffer because of not having proper wills, not having proper documentation. All the good work that I have done, planning for them over many years uh, can completely go wrong. Not having one will that they should have been having. And today I feel it's a very happy moment for me that during our practice, we are in a position to tell my clients or my audience or my viewers uh, that there is a solution which is available and you should not let go of this opportunity. Uh, for the benefit of my audience, please go through step-by-step -step process. If required, you please do a screen sharing and tell them how they can create a will themselves. It's over to you, Nikhil. Thank you, Mr. Chandrakant. You know, it's a, it's my pleasure to uh, showcase uh, what we have built. Uh, this is something which uh, is very close to my heart and happy to uh, you know, showcase it to your viewers. W very soon, they'll realize that uh, creating a will doesn't need, is not very intimidating. With capturing very few basic information, they can generate a valid will in less than 10 minutes uh, at that to at the comfort of their own. Let me share my screen now and uh, you know take you through a quick overview or an app tour to help help your users understand how simple this uh, whole process itself is so the app is essentially divided into seven cards so that uh, users very simply capture very basic information that is needed if you look at uh, uh, first screen we are talking about personal information where you capture your name uh, gender date of birth etc and then continue wherein you can uh, uh, capture the next uh, screen which is nothing but your people who are relevant to you in in the will itself essentially your beneficiaries if you look at here you can add either uh, uh, manually or through your contacts we have made that whole process simple if i wait to search here you can take it from your contact right add your date of birth simply and uh, the relationship status, which is spouse in my case, and the gender. If this is done, you can also add another person. In my case, I'm going to add a kid, which is the other option, which is manual. The male. Because it's a minor kid, you don't need phone number. You can just say child, done. And that's it. Move ahead, capture your basic assets. See, if you see every screen, you'll also see some contextual help, which is which will help you understand what the screen is meant for. And also, you know, at below you can see there is uh, FAQs that you can explore to understand uh, basic questions. At any point in time, the users can click on the chat button and uh, you know contact our customer support or even set up a call with uh, one of uh, uh, of the experts in house to get uh, answers to specific questions that they may have right i'll just say okay got it thank you here add a couple of assets uh, very honestly in the first will what i would suggest is that everybody tries to make a will which is completely comprehensive simple thought process in our mind is that create a basic will to begin with uh, capture at least something but not have nothing have a basic will with top uh, three to five items and then uh, provide for your wishes and uh, uh, once you are ready uh, once the will is generated uh, have it signed that becomes at least a security for your family you can come back always and update and uh, we always provide first update free you can always go back update with all the specificity that is needed so that you have a much more comprehensive will right just a quick example, I can add a, a, a property, just say an apartment, uh, unit number seven. That's it. You have more uh, details. You can add a snapshot of the uh, uh, property details itself. All that are additional information. But uh, bare minimum, which is mandatory, is in asterisks. Just confirm those details and you can move ahead. Uh, but up to you how many more information you need to capture. If you see along the way, you're not capturing anywhere values. If you look at financial, we have more than uh, 30 plus assets category. In uh, financial assets, you have all 
financial asset categories if i look at it there is bank and bank deposits financial investments which is your dmat accounts etc life insurances retirement funds ppf pf npf nps and any other financial assets i'll just capture a couple of uh, bank accounts basically again here there are no values we just need to capture your basic bank details or the account details here again you don't need to enter the end exact details you can even say uh, as much as uh, the basic requirements of uh, your family understanding the uh, requirements of uh, the uh, or understanding or identifying the bank uh, details itself and not the overall uh, 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 details sorry i did a mistake here i was capturing uh, account number uh, in in a different portion here branch essentially we need to just give uh, details of which branch and these are the basic information that is needed again here you can go into specificities but uh, uh, it's up to you what is relevant also is you can see other information point of contact because uh, sometimes it's easier to have your financial planners uh, wealth advisors or bankers you can capture their name here so that families can reach out to them uh, more importantly while you have the information of asset identification i won't capture this now but this is something which you can do at a later stage going back i'll just add uh, one more financial assets which is nothing but a dmat account say i have a zeroda account i'll just add the dp name which is nothing but zeroda uh, the client id could be dx the dp id could be and here you can say joint or single capture those details the so single account again you have the same details here you can add even nominee de nominee details as well and uh, update it and uh, move on uh, going forward i'm also adding other assets you also have business asset be it your uh, company shares partnership uh, interest etc digital asset like your e wallets etc including crypto portfolio and other assets be it your vehicles uh, you know jewelry jewelry essentially we have options even to upload your pictures because it's very important that jewelry etc uh, you know if you can capture uh, uh, images it becomes easier for you know the users to uh, easily understand which jewelry needs to go to who right uh, just going back i'll just add a vehicle information this is a mandatory requirement but uh, number etc is up, again optional but i am just capturing one so that uh, users can understand how exactly these details are captured yeah this kind of addresses some of the basic information you can add your uh, insurance accounts you can add your liabilities uh, capture those details again you have seen there is no zero value that you are capturing it's only the identifiers and that's all is important from a bill standpoint and not values because values keep changing now i'll go ahead and do an asset distribution here again there are instructions everywhere uh, you can go individual asset wise or the broad category level itself for uh, interest of time i'll go broad category and also in my case it's very simple all my assets goes to my spouse and therefore i just uh, add that detail make it 100% to my spouse and uh, say confirm right now you say it gives us something uh, 100% of all my assets goes to my spouse confirm and that kind of captures my wishes very important is the next portion which is residuary assets where you can define saying what assets i have not captured or any future acquisitions of assets that i get how do i deal with it is what we are trying to capture here very important because if you don't capture this for those aspects uh, you know you'll have to still go back to the court the whole endeavor is to ensure that uh, this becomes a whole and sole document for you and uh, you don't need to visit courts for uh, distribution of assets right and that's what we're trying to do here here perhaps i'll give a different aspect i'll give it to both continue i'll split it equally between the both say next and that's it 
my residuary assets are also taken care of. And the next session is all about uh, secondary beneficiaries. Here we are talking about what happens in case my spouse is not around at the time of uh, execution of this will. Uh, life is uncertain. Uh, you know, it's not necessary that um, my spouse has to uh, live beyond me. It could be either way. And we're just providing for contingencies because if you don't, then it becomes redundant that the will uh, becomes as good as not having. I had a client situation where uh, father and mother wrote wills against, uh, you know, for the benefit of each other. Both passed away in quick succession, but the son had to run around pillar to post to get the assets transferred to his name, his and his uh, sister's name because uh, courts or the, uh, uh, you know, because the assets are not in their name or uh, will is not provided for uh, contingencies. Uh, it, it was as good as not having a will and therefore this becomes very important. Here we have given options in terms of we can give it to lineal descendants or uh, distribute it to remaining primary beneficiaries or even do a custom distribution where I can add another person to come in. And in some cases you can even provide for charity, right? You have the, all the options. You can choose what is relevant for you. I will simply select uh, distribute to lineal descendants, which would mean that it will go to my bloodline if my spouse is not around at the time of distribution of this will. If I do next is the important section of appointing an executor. Again, there are contextual help. Again, you can reach out to my uh, customer support at any point in time. Uh, here, I'll add an executor. Like I said, executor can be the beneficiary itself. There's nothing wrong. And uh, in situations where there are multiple beneficiaries, then probably you can look at uh, third party. But in my case, it's very simple uh, wishes. Give it to my spouse and therefore I'm doing this. And it becomes easier for her to be an executor, executor to her, her assets that are coming her way through, through my will. Going next, you can also have options for uh, uh, backup beneficiaries and uh, backup executors. And uh, that's something which uh, I would urge everyone to provide for. In the interest of time, I'm not going to add a backup uh, executor. But uh, it's Im important so that uh, if uh, the executor does not survive uh, the execution of my will or for whatever reason, they don't want to participate or be take up this role or uh, they're not in the country and uh, make sense for somebody else to pick up, uh, then the backup executor can take up that role. If you don't provide for it and uh, the primary executor does not, uh, you know, uh, take up the role for the reasons that I mentioned earlier, then you'll have to still visit the court. And therefore, it's important to have at least one, if not two backup executors. Going ahead, we also provide for adding a guardian to your minor child. In this case, uh, Again, uh, for my uh, for your minor child, the uh, spouse is always a you know natural guardian. It's only in a scenario where both you and your spouse are not around is where you appoint a you know natural guard, you know, guardian to your uh, minor child. Now, again, why this is important because you know very well who is uh, more compatible to your you know for your child and not the uh, you know others uh, to determine who they should take custody of your child if both your and you you and your spouse are not around. And uh, uh, if you don't provide for a guardian to your child, then courts determine who the guardian is. And uh, it's always in your self-interest or uh, selfishness that you need to ensure a guardian is nominated by you. Yeah, the process is very simple. Again, you could add someone uh, quickly from your contacts. Right. And relationship is what all that you need to capture. And that's good enough. You can add more details, but this is good enough. For at least the basic uh, important details is what is relevant. And that said, uh, just add two witnesses. You have an option not to add witnesses, which you can handwrite in your will once you get it. Here for interest of time, I'm going to speak, skip, skip this portion. But similar to how we added uh, guardian or how you added other uh, people or beneficiaries to the will, can add the same uh, use the same process to add a witness you need minimum two witness for the will to be valid you, you have always have an option to add more than two witnesses one thing which is very important here is that never add a witness uh, who is not near and dear to you and someone who has benefits arising uh, from the will because the, the person needs to be completely non-conflicted very completely independent uh, so that tomorrow if there is a contestment of the will 
if they are uh, you know testifying before uh, the court if they have an interest then the uh, you know uh, their uh, testification before the court may not uh, stand uh, well so therefore uh, the request is always have an independent witness again uh, unlike your other documents where you have your house help driver etc to be a witness this is not a uh, very uh, something that you need to consider for a witness to your will this is a very important life document of yours and ensure that uh, somebody near and dear to you you know becomes the witness and uh, such person uh, you know if something uh, if the will uh, gets contested such person would stand for your family is is that that should be the uh, basic criteria for choice of a witness i'm moving ahead you can also talk about uh, funeral arrangements i'll skip this yeah now that you have gen i know captured all your basic information all that is left is uh, gen click this button generate the will uh and uh, make your payment and uh, that's about it uh, you have all options uh, be it uh, upi or uh, net banking or even credit card make the payment and uh, the will will be generated uh, send to your email id and for your indian viewers we can definitely deliver to their address as well if they need a hard copy of the will that's broadly a quick summary of how uh, a will can be generated in less than 10 minutes i know we have gone beyond that because i had to explain uh, some of these aspects i have timed my first will through this app and it was less than 5 minutes but you know, that said uh, you know you know the basic stuff that is needed to be added that's about it and if you use that in less than 10 minutes you can create a legally valid will uh sign it along with two witnesses and uh, safe keep it that becomes a valid document again i'm stressing on this point residuary assets is your uh, golden ticket just mention uh, your wishes there so that if there's no as some assets that you missed out or uh, future assets that is uh, that that you may acquire that uh, can be uh, distributed as per those wishes uh and uh, uh in the future when you start uh, accumulating more assets there is a change in the asset or if there change in the family situation there could be a new addition in the family etc that point time you can easily uh, you know update those details within the app and generate a new will sign it and becomes again a legally valid document that's the whole simplicity of this app i hope this gives a clarity mr chandrakant and uh, you know happy to answer any other questions that you have on this app itself yeah one question that comes to my mind is see when somebody generates a will they have generated you have emailed it to them all that they have to do is take a print out of it and take the signature of the witness and store it it doesn't have to be on a stamp paper or it does not need to be notarized or uh, you know go to a embassy outside of india to get it authorized nothing of the sort is required am i right you're you're right by law that is not required but wherever there is uh, properties involved real estate properties involved unfortunately the sub registrars sometimes uh, you know require a registered will uh, so that the you can always argue to say by law is not needed but that is not an good energy spent you might as well have a registration uh, done for those uh, uh, wills where immobile properties are involved and that kind of uh, smoothens the uh, uh, transfer of assets itself so if i understood you correctly it is not a must but it is desirable and better to get it done the registration of the will that's that's right it's it's a recommendation uh, uh, more a recommendation if you have removable assets for removable assets okay that's correct uh, nikhil you said that it is desirable to get this will registered in case if you have immobile properties again we are back to square one the nris are located somewhere else is there a helping that your office can give these people to do the registration or is there a guideline or can you uh, can you briefly tell how the people can do it no a great question um, you know if they are in india we can definitely help them with the registration uh, pan, pan india and that's something which you can arrange for but uh, if if they want to register the will and if they're not in india in that case they will have to visit the embassy to, to you know notarize and apostille the will uh, that's a simple process uh, which they can reach to indian embassy in their uh, country of jurisdiction that's something that they'll have to do it on their own but if in india if they need registration we are more than happy to handle them uh, at an additional price you explained all these things points and it looks pretty simple and it is doable for each and every one but nevertheless it looks to me like a simplified version but when individual person tries to create a will 
there can be uh, individual circumstances they may get confused they may not know is it the right way to do is there a, a hand holding is there a, a back office which can answer the query or if they run into problem how can they reach out to you and what is the uh, helping hand you can uh, provide to uh, the persons who are creating the will right no great question uh, sir and uh, if you look at uh, you know through the uh, app demo itself you would have seen on in each screen you have an option to reach out to my customer support contact us uh, section is there reach out to that either by chat uh, uh, call or uh, email uh, function you can reach out to my customer support they can handhold you either the will creation process itself or even handle basic queries relating to the app or the uh, will uh, creation or process having said that if they have specific scenarios which needs uh, more of an expert consult uh, we also have in house team of experts uh, uh, people with 5 to uh, uh, 12 years of experience who can handle their queries uh, seamlessly all that you need to do is reach out to a customer support set up a call uh, over a video call or a audio call you can raise your specific questions and get it answered what we also recommend is uh, you can you know you reach out to a customer support and also they can guide you through at least the first will process itself they can guide you through and get you pass through the first will process you have seen the app demo there is zero legal terminology is used all that you need to do is enter your life situation your asset situation your wishes and uh, the legal documents come your way i don't see anybody can need a real uh, you know help here we have made it as simple as possible but that said if that is that need is there or you just need a peace of mind that you need to talk to someone with from our team our experts are there to guide your uh, users uh, nikhil when you talk about will uh, generally the audience gets a feeling that if i am heading towards retirement if i am moving towards the second part of my life or if the end is visible that's the time i have to do a will this is the general perception people have what do you suggest is it each and every person who has an asset has to create his will irrespective of his age or do you recommend only for people who fit into certain category i would like to hear from you your answer on that uh, if you if i go back to the first question you asked what are the basics of creating or basic requirement of creating a will the law recommends someone above the age of 18 to create a will of course i don't want to uh, you know labor more around the point that it's 18 is the right age there's no age really to create a will uh, of course you need to be a major to create a will but having said that practically if somebody starts building an asset you should start creating a will because you have created an asset beat a simple bank account when you start a job you have a salary account that salary account has to go to somebody else in the past videos we did speak about some of the uh, its conceptions in the society that uh, a nom- uh, if i create a nomination that is a good succession plan unfortunately no a nominee is only a trustee to your account but uh, your legal heirs as per succession law uh, you know have rights over those property therefore if you even have a sim- simple bank account you need to create a will to uh, ensure the right beneficiaries get it but having said that your point is very valid you everybody looks at uh, creating a will only at later part of the life but that's presuming that uh, uh, life is certain you know exactly how your life will uh, turn around but uh, unfortunately covid and other situations have told us and uh, many a times not only covid but uh, al- always you have seen that life is uncertain and uh, it's our uh, duty to ensure our families are protected uh, like you take take your term insurance today to ensure you if you are not around your family needs to be taken care of where that will that is essentially substituting your income source for your family what assets that you have created today that necessarily has to be passed on to your family and why not create a will along with uh, on the lines of creating term insurance or obtaining term insurance that's that's my way of looking at creating wills and will should not be a stagnant document it should be a dynamic document and uh, the solution that we have put together will make the dynamic uh, option of creating multiple wills easy because all that you need to do is not do the entire process of creating the will every time but only the additional information be it uh, addition of assets deletion of assets or a uh, change in the family situations only that needs to be captured delta once it is ready generate a button and the new will is created sign it and you are good to go 
I fully agree with you, Nikhil. I, I personally believe as soon as somebody starts earnings, there is an asset. They need to be looking at this particular aspect. La uncertainties of life can never be uh, predicted. What will happen to whom, at what point of time, under what conditions, it can never be predicted. And the cost of creating a will is a negligible amount of uh, money that they have to dedicate it for it. And it makes absolute sense if you're keeping your documents in a safe place. It's as good as that you keep all these things in a secure way, create your will and make sure that you are uh, that near and dear ones who should uh, get this uh, will not have any difficulty in the unfortunate event of somebody being not there in this world. Uh, Nikhil, one, uh, one doubt that comes to my mind is, look, uh, Yellow has built a technology platform and uh, the audience or your customers are sharing a lot of data on this particular thing. These days, cybersecurity is a big issue. Security of uh, information documents are all uh, is something which is a burning issue everywhere. How will my audience know that the data that they have shared on this app remains safe, uh, it's not compromised, and under no circumstances it gets into the uh, wrong hands? Can you tell for the benefit of my audience what is that you have care that you have taken to make sure these things are in order? No, uh, again, a very important question and that's something which has been the uh, backbone of the technology platform that we have built, right? Because technology, when it comes to the picture, uh, security goes hand in hand and it can't be without uh, right security protocols. What you ensured is that, that we have put in all the checks and balances or bells and whistles to ensure that the security protocol of our, of our app is, uh, you know, nothing less than our banking security, right? And uh, to uh, explain a little bit further here, all your data are 256-bit encrypted at a device level and uh, the data at the backend is not uh, readable unless it is uh, decrypted with a private key which is at the uh, you know, device level. Second, what you have done beyond that is that we have gone ahead and uh, taken your personally identifiable information which in uh, technology terms is called PII that has been sold uh, stored in a separate zero trust vault. So. There are two things that we need to look at here. The uh, Your uh, overall data is uh, encrypted. It is also stored in Google Cloud. And therefore, we are relying on the security protocols that Google has put together. It's not a physical uh, server or database that we maintain at our end. It's our cloud-based uh, database which you're using. And therefore, if somebody were to penetrate, they need to breach Google security protocol. And the PII being in the uh, zero trust vault, Again, it's a third-party trust vault, uh, uh, you know, which is GDPR uh, compliant and uh, a SOC 2 compliant. And therefore, it has all its checks and balances. Now, why we have done this is essentially to uh, ensure that there are two levels of security. One, if they were to breach our database, then they can't make use of the data unless they have the PII information because two have to match together to make sense. And therefore, if they, somebody has to take our data, the you, customer's data that is in our uh, database, they have to breach Google security protocol and the zero trust vault and match those information before they can make any good sense of this. What kind of data that we are capturing in the will creation process? We are, I've taken you through the process. And if you've seen the kind of data that is uh, captured is nothing but identifiers. You saw for uh, real estate, it was more about address of the property. If you see bank account, you had access to say your bank account number ending so and so. It's up to you how you want to capture the data so that your families identify these assets. Nowhere you're capturing values, nowhere you're capturing passwords or user IDs. So therefore, you're not to be worried about uh, the data that you're capturing here. While we think it's sensitive information, very honestly, this only identifies. Nobody can do anything with the data that we're capturing here. right? And the last thing that is very relevant is that we're not giving this for free to anyone. Right. We are charging for the service, which would mean that we don't need to harvest your data for future benefits. That's broadly how we have gone about with the security protocol. Thank you, Nikhil. Uh, that's quite reassuring. Uh, one uh, question uh, that comes to my mind or uh, during my interaction with my clients came to my uh, mind or projected to me was, why should I do a, a bill online? Can I not walk into a lawyer's office or somewhere and get things done? Is there a specific advantage getting it done online than in an offline mode? Uh, what answers you have 
uh, for this question of my audience so my simple quest to the audience is that create your goal whether you want to do it online offline is a choice that you have but create your goal that's something which is very important having said that what's the advantage we bring on the table is that we are a team of uh, estate planners who have built this uh, with over 50 years of experience and we have say you know protected or the structures that we have created have protected more than 42000 crores of assets for indian families right that's the experience that we bring in all that we know is estate planning and our you know life's experience is what we have put through the app right uh, so that uh, this is available at a affordable secure and uh, you you know very simplified uh, user friendly usage is what we have provided for in through this uh, app journey which would mean that something which is of a top notch quality will which otherwise you going to a lawyer's office or experts office who would charge you a few lakhs of rupees is what you are giving at much much affordable price you have you know that's something which uh, is of much uh, relevance second uh, what we have learned from our research before we started this process is that people who have created the will in an offline mode have spent good amount of money and time when i say time around 2 to 3 months before they could create their will which is number of conversations here and there and uh, finally when they got the will they were not overall happy with the process right and uh, we, because of this what they have done is though they have created their will 5 or 10 years back they have not updated the will and the other reason why you said why sh- uh, why are people considering doing this towards the later part of their life is because they presume why spend this every year but why don't we do it at a later part when i when i think it's the right stage for me to create the will which in the which which again kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a will and protection for your family so a technology gives you the advantage of scale scale gives you the advantage of affordable pricing and uh, through us uh, if you create a will of course there's an up- upfront price which is very nominal and your future updations are also a fraction of the uh, you know upfront price and therefore it becomes a no brainer for someone to create and update their will on a regular basis yes i do agree now that online will is probably something which every individual should consider ease of doing it low cost you don't have to procrastinate you don't have to fix up an appointment with the person on the other side to hear you out design it and update it as and when changes happen these are the multiple benefits that you get you can get a, a bank account open today online you can buy a insurance policy online you can do a lot of things online probably it is just a time that you can get will also on uh, line and it's the pricing is negligible a specific question to you nikhil is uh where can people find this app what is its pricing and you have rolled out this particular product or uh, via the platform of nri money clinic uh, audience is there anything you can offer a differential pricing for my audience uh to get their wills done on your platform i would like to hear answers from you no thank you sushantakant and uh, you know this app is available on both android and ios your users can simply get onto the app store search for yellow wills and they will get it but for the ease of uh, everyone we will also capture the links for these uh, uh, downloads on the description itself but moving forward on uh, the second question of what is the offer that we can off- you know provide for your uh, set of uh, loyal users we we have put together something uh, uh, we have put together a package which is a, a combination of create your will unlimited updates for one year plus one lawyer call or an expert call wherein they can get answers to all their uh, specific questions which is worth uh, close to 5000 5, rupees at a 50% discount of 2499 that's the price uh, that we are offering to your us- set of users uh, while you've seen in the demo you would have seen the price for creating the will alone is 2499 we are adding on unlimited updates for one year plus the loyal call so that they can make the best use of the app why we are also providing uh, uh, unlimited updates sir is to ensure that uh, users continue with the will creation process and not procrastinate what you have seen or our learnings is that when someone tries to create a, a comprehensive will they end up uh, trying to capture all the details and not generating the will itself instead uh, create your first will in less than 10 minutes capture your basic 3 to 5 items 
immediately provide for your wishes. More importantly, capture your residuary assets so that all the other assets are addressed. And then once that is done, signed and uh, witnessed, it becomes a valid, uh, you know, valid will which is available for uh, in in case of an uh, untoward event. They can always go back, update as many times, add as much information that is needed. They all anyway. There is unlimited update through the year. Make enough number of updates, generate as many number of wills that you want, and uh, when you are satisfied, you can stop the will generation process. Hope that. Uh, could be valuable for your users. I hope this is the uh, uh, offer that we can take to them. Uh, Nikhil, thank you very much. And I really wish one lakh, you know, which was there in the financial planning space. Where can I go for what to create my will? When I should do uh, my will? All these doubts have been put to rest. And now a solution which is available. Dear viewers, I request you uh, that you make best use of this online platform they are very serious people i know them very well and they have put in their heart and mind into it and they have given a product which is available to you at throwaway prices uh, make best use of this it's a limited time offer as uh, mr Mikhail claims and i only wish this brings more happiness in your family and it brings more peace in the family and your hard-earned assets are secured for the benefit of your members. Thank you, Nikhil, for your time. And it is a great honor for me to roll out your product. I wish you all the best in your journey of helping families creating that much required security. Thank you very much for your time and this rollout of your product on my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, you know giving us a uh, you know, slot to showcase this uh, with your user base. You know, we are really grateful about this opportunity and also playing a big role in, uh, in, in, in kind of filling the gap or the void that is there in the country today, uh, where, uh, some, the, something as simple as a mandatory requirement of creating a will, nobody is doing it. And, uh, if we can create a dent in this space, uh, that, that's success for us. And, uh, thank you so much for being part of this journey, sir. Dear viewers, I'm very happy today that we are able to roll out this product, which so many of you have requested me. So many messages have come in. So many times you are requesting, try to find an answer for this. I feel I have done a good job today of bringing uh, this lacuna, which was there for people to create the best, make best use of it. If you like this uh, work of ours, do like this video, do like every video that we produce. If you are a person who is for the first time watching this channel or if you are yet to subscribe for the channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Don't forget to share these videos with your near and dear ones. Share it in all groups. Let this information percolate everywhere. Let everyone make best use of the facilities that is rolled out to you by NRI Money Clinic. Thank you very much for watching this episode on NRM and Clinic. I shall be back with you with yet another expert, with yet another topic next Tuesday. Till then, stay safe. Press the bell icon for more details and subscribe our channel.